Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. There's only two games left in the season, folks. We got the Sugar Bowl tonight, and then tomorrow night is the National Championship game featuring the Dayton Flyers and the Savannah State Tigers. But tonight, number five, VMI, 12-1 on the season, riding a 10-game winning streak, is going to be taking on the eight. The 8th ranked, 11-2, Jacksonville Dolphins. They're on a 6-game winning streak. And there is a lot of talent on the field for this one, folks. We've got, let's see, 16 All-SEC first-team players for the Dolphins. We've got two All-SEC second players for the Jacksonville Dolphins. There's just so much talent. It's ridiculous. Mr. Highlight. Obviously, he won the Heisman Trophy, he won the Bolitnikoff, and the Best Returner of the Year. VMI has Jake Berry, who's a first-team All-American, first-team All-Big 12, Mackey Award winner. Rondé Barber, head coach for VMI, was the Coach of the Year. Ladarius Johnson, freshman All-American. Justin Hopps, first-team All-Big 12, along with William Reed, Javon Stewart, Henry Hamilton, a couple non-subscriber players, and Bryson Shields. Also got first team Big 12. They have eight first team Big 12 players on their team and six second team all Big 12 players. These teams are absolutely loaded right now. And I'm pretty excited for this game. Hope you guys are. Let me see who we got in the chat real quick. And don't forget to like the video, folks. I love you. Who we got? Recib 23, Race Senga. Noah, you sexy son of a gun. Marvin Joseph in the chat. Bryson Shields. Tyler Rocky. Jay Balmer in the chat. Look at these rankings. Number two offense. Number nine offense. Number 10 defense. Number 11 defense. This is going to be such a fun game to watch. I'm really excited for it. Let's, uh, let's just get right into it, shall we? Let's do it. And while we're here, Marvin, what, uh, what uniforms do you want to watch or wear, buddy? Let me know. And VMI is going to wear their gold pants and gold cleats tonight. Just waiting on Marvin to pick his uniform. Either the home or the alternate one with the gray pants. You're still sticking with UC Davis after the loss, Hunzi? That's good to know, man. They fall hard in that game. The defense, they they just needed some help. I don't know what happened. Go with the alternate. I got you, Marvin. All right. Here we go. Number five, Virginia. Or, uh, yeah, Virginia Military Institute. And number eight, Jacksonville Dolphins in the Sugar Bowl, folks. In New Orleans, Louisiana. Look at those stats. 42 total touchdowns for Mr. Highlight at wide receiver. The man had eight punt returns for touchdowns this season. He's unstoppable. He needs one touchdown catch to break the all-time record for touchdown receptions in a season. He's got 27 right now. All right, VMI won the toss. They will receive it. Jacksonville will get the ball to start the third quarter. And let's get that camera angle, shall we? Okay, okay. Dalton Hayes, freshman punter, on for the kickoff. And I am now going to put down the controller. Bryson Shields on for the return up the middle of the field. Nice cut and gets it up to the 25-yard line. And we are going to see VMI's offense take the field first, led by Justin Hopps, sophomore quarterback. And they got two halfbacks, Cam Sanders and four, or five-star freshman Ladarius Johnson, first team all freshmen this season. Matt Keller at fullback. Joseph Martin and Jason Wright at receiver. Jake Berry and Jay Balmer at tight end. And here is Sanders to start it off. And we do not have the camera angle that I want. So uh, let's fix it. What a nice four-yard carry for Sanders to start the ball game. Sanders is going to need 36 more rushing yards to get 1,000 
on the season. Ladarius Johnson already has 1,000 yards. Here is Hops looking to throw it. Right side open. That's Jay Balmer, the freshman tight end. He was number two um, on the team in receptions this season. Behind only Jake Berry. And we still don't have the camera angle. I guess we're going to stick with this, folks. That's fine. I'm not going to keep messing with it. Hops, play action. And he's going to try to take off and trips over Parker Palmer. And they're going to count that as a sack. That is the freshman's 11th sack on the season. And he's coming on strong later in the year. He had a rough start in the first seven or eight games. Just couldn't get any pressure on the quarterbacks. But he's now up to 11 sacks. Not bad for the five-star freshman defensive end. So fourth down and two. VMI gets stopped. High snap for the punter. And a booming punt. All the way inside the 25-yard line. Here is Mr. Highlight. Dropped at the 28-yard line. Offense for Jacksonville led by Michael Hines. He is backed up by Nolan Connor. Halfback is Jukes McGee. Fullback Tyler Matthews. Receiving core is Mr. Highlight. Jermaine Marshall, Deshaun Harris, and Christian Hart at tight end. And they'll come out in the shotgun from their own 29-yard line. Hines play action. Quick pass deflected away. Dangerous throw intended for Mr. Highlight. The defense for VMI tonight. Is led by the defensive line. Henry Hamilton at D-tackle. William Reed at defensive end. And five-star freshman defensive end Javon Stewart. He also lines up at some outside linebacker here and there. Middle linebacker Trey Upton. Corner Bryson Shields. And here is Hines almost picked off by Darius Peters, the free safety. And four-star Juco junior transfer Mike Adams is their strong safety. Not a bad, <laughs> not a good pass by Michael Hines right there. And here they're going to go shotgun again. Quick pass. This time it's picked off. Intended for Christian Hart. And that is Thompson's first pick of the season. Hines throws his 13th INT of the year. And we'll see the VMI offense take the field again already. Great field position at Jacksonville's 34-yard line. The defense for Jacksonville is led by the sophomore secondary. Marcus Pedersen at strong safety. Malik Bean at free. Allen Davidson at cornerback. Here is Cam Sanders picking up a yard, but there is clipping. Back him up 15 yards. Arizona Jones, first down and 25 now. Defensive line for Jacksonville. Parker Palmer, we already called his number tonight, number 79. Frank Frazier, number 46. Zach Allen, number 2. Those are both defensive ends. And Ryan Richardson is also on there at the defensive line. Zane Williams at outside linebacker. And Devin Rambo at middle linebacker. And here's Sanders up the middle. Dropped by Walters. And he got about five yards on the carry. Second down and 20 for Justin Hopps and the Cadets. How's everybody doing tonight? I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Kevin Jasper Jr. in the chat. Jarmel Lewis. Rocky Clearwater. Here's Hops, quick pass. And that is Jason Wright. And I think that's a loss of one on the pass. Third down at 21 now. Wright with 22 receptions on the season. Nearing 1,000 yards receiving for his career. He's at 924. Five receivers set. Hops, quick pass. And incomplete intended for Cam Sanders. And they're going to have to punt this football away so Jacksonville catches a break after that Michael Hines interception on their last drive. Mr. Highlight back deep to return. It's going to be a safe return, actually, so he might not be back there. And this is a high one. Fair catch. And it is deflected, but it bounces into the end zone. Great effort by the coverage team. Couldn't get there soon enough. The Discord pick them as Jacksonville winning this ball game. 13 votes to 11. So very close voting. But you guys think that Jacksonville is going to pull off the dub here tonight. Hines under center for this first down play. And he will throw it. 
Hines throws off his back foot. Caught by Jermaine Marshall on the sidelines. That'll be his 27th reception this season. That's a pickup of seven. It's up to 649 yards receiving for the season. Parker Palmer in the chat. Nicholas Hall. What's going on, folks? Hines tries to take off, and he's going to be dropped. That is a sack. Let's see who got him. It's hard to tell. That is Henry Hamilton. And if that's countered as a sack, that's his 11th of the season. He had just six in his freshman year. Third down and six upcoming now for J.U. Which stadium is this? I believe this is the uh, Superdome. This is in New Orleans. And they're going to hand it off to Christian Hart. And he is destroyed. I'm not so sure what they're doing handing the ball off at the tight end. But Trey Upton was having none of that play. Gets his 47th tackle on the year. My goodness. A lot of defense being had here tonight here in the first quarter. Freshman punter Dalton Hayes on for the punt. Averaging 42 yards per punt on the year. And a long of 57. Four punts down inside the 20-yard line. And he has such a big leg on him. Nice kick to the 24. Here's Bryson Shields. Returns it. Has a nice return up past the 35-yard line. Pops going to lead his team back out onto the field. He's had a really good season. 28 touchdowns to 7 picks for the sophomore quarterback. He's going to hand it off here. Cam Sanders up the middle. Breaking tackles. Gets the first down inside JU territory. And he's got 23 yards rushing tonight already on 3 carries. VMI 4-3 and three all time in subscriber versus subscriber games. JU is 1-2 all-time in such games. Topsy Kretz and Jay Sears in the chat. What's going on, fellas? Appreciate you stopping by. Here's Hops. Going to throw it right side. Dropped again by Cam Sanders. His second already here in the first. Hit that like button. Show the world. I like it. High formation set for the key debts. They're going to go option. This is where they're really dangerous. And it's plays like this. And it's hops to the 31-yard line. He is so dangerous with his legs. My goodness. 971 yards rushing coming into this ball game. Hops has. Both of these quarterbacks can run the football quite well. Hines entered the game with 792 yards rushing. 13 scores. Hops with nine touchdowns this season on the ground. And he's going to throw it here. Hops, left side, oh my goodness, Lawson almost had the pick. He is a receiver converted to cornerback in the offseason. Wow. Brings up second down and 10 now. Two tight ends set. Both of these tight ends are really good athletes. I go option, and a nice play. And that was by number 46, Frank Frazier, the four-star defensive end. That's his ninth tackle for a loss this season. I believe that was a tackle for a loss. No, he got two yards. Never mind. Forget about that. It's his 34th tackle, though. Five wide receivers set for Hops. And he's going to take off. Justin Hops dives. Does he have enough for the first down? He does not. Fourth and inches upcoming for VMI. Let's see if they'll go for it or just try to get some points on the board here. Thirty-eight yard field goal attempt. VMI trying to get on the board first here tonight in the Sugar Bowl. Kick is up. And it is good. VMI strikes first. It's three-nothing. With 102 left in the first, that was a seven play, 41 yard drive, a minute and a half off the clock. Let's see how Hines and this offense responds for Jacksonville. 
Justin Hopps only needs four more rushing yards tonight to reach 1,000 on the season. Michael Gregory in the chat. What's going on, man? Who's number 42 for Jacksonville? Um, that is actually a non-subscriber linebacker, Walters. He's a junior. Dolphins went 9-5 last season. They lost in this game in the Sugar Bowl to Cal Poly after winning the SEC. So they are in the same exact spot as they were last season. And that is going to be a big loss for Jermaine Marshall on the catch. Except JU has two more wins this season than they did last year. Really good year for Marvin Joseph and the Dolphins. VMI improved their record. They were 9-5 last year, as was Jacksonville. He gets 12-1 this season. And here is Hines. He's going to be dropped for a big loss on a read option. That went nowhere. Third and 18 upcoming now. My goodness. Shotgun set. I believe Hines and Highlight are back there. Hines over the middle, and it's caught. And that's Jukes McGee for a big-time pickup and a first down for J.U. What a play. About a 26-yard reception for the halfback. That's his ninth reception on the season. That gets him over 100 yards receiving as well as having two touchdown catches. is going to be the final play of the first quarter. VMI is on top 3-0 here in the Sugar Bowl as we enter the second quarter. Ball known, 39-yard line. Three receivers and a tight end. Highlight in the backfield with Hines. Hines. Oh my goodness, he throws another pick. And I believe it's Thompson again, the non-subscriber corner, and he has a pick six. Oh, baby. Hines with his 14th pick of the year. He's got 32 for his career now. And VMI up to a two-score lead. I'm not sure where he was trying, what he was trying to do with that pass. That was not, not good at all. My goodness gracious. Hines had a hard time last year in the Sugar Bowl against Cal Poly. I believe he threw three or four interceptions in that game. It was a little bit rough for him. Extra point is up, and it is good. It's 10-0, folks. Still plenty of time left in the ball game. Excuse me while I sip on my water. Surprised that they're not really trying to feed the ball to Jukes McGee right now. He's got over 1,600 rushing yards on the season. And here is Mr. Highlight up to the 18 yard line. Michael Hines leads his team back out onto the field. He's thrown two interceptions tonight already in the first half. And he's trying to rebound here. I can't make that call, Ray. Marvin would have to make that call. And Hines is going to be sacked. Henry Hamilton is second tonight. He's now got 12 on the season. Goodness gracious. He doubled his total from last year. He had six. Brings up second down and 12. Shotgun set. Hines, pressure, throws it deep, and it's caught. Jukes McGee, leading receiver tonight so far. Two catches. And how many yards does he have now? That was a 17-yard reception. He's got about 43 yards receiving tonight on two catches.
Look at Hines' career numbers, almost 4,500 passing yards, 53 touchdowns, and 32 interceptions. And he's under center now. He's going to throw it again. Pressured. Throws a deep left side. Caught. And that is Deshaun Harris. He's had a very quiet season. That's just his 11th reception on the year for 242 yards receiving. He does have four touchdowns, though, on those 11 receptions. Not a whole lot of offense here tonight. A couple of top 15 defenses. Shotgun set. Christian Hart, tight end, is in the backfield on fire. That pass is very dangerous. Almost picked off again. Man, oh man. His throws are scaring you, Ray. <laughs> hey, if Marvin wants him benched, I'll bench him. But that's all up to him, man. Play action from Hines. Throws off his back foot, and what a catch! Mr. Highlight lays out for the reception. First down, J.U. That is Highlight's 69th reception on the year. That got him over 1,600 yards for the season. And over 3,000 yards receiving for his career on 128 catches with 38 touchdowns. Negative eight rushing yards so far for Jacksonville. Highlight back there with Hines. High snap. They're going to go option. Pitches it out. And Highlight is dropped for a four-yard loss. He came into the game with 226 yards rushing. Five touchdowns. He had 42 total touchdowns this season. And that is the main reason why he won the Heisman. I mean, he does have a lot of yards as well. Second down and 14. Hart in the zone at the tight end spot. And we'll see if Hines will throw it his way. No, he won't. Deflect it away by Bryson Shields. And he had Deshaun Harris covered up pretty good. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? One more pick and bench him, Marvin. I got you. Third down and 14 for Jacksonville. They're not. Oh, they actually are in field goal range. Quasi Sands has made a 60 yard field goal, but Hines takes off inside the 35 yard line. And there's clipping. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if they'll decline it, and it looks like they will. Now, they should bring out uh, Juco Jr. transfer kicker Quasi Sands for a 50 yard field goal attempt here. And they're actually going to punt the football away. They're in field goal range. Sands has made a 60 yard field goal this season. And instead, they elect to punt it away with Dalton Hayes. And that is going to go through the back of the end zone. I don't know why they called that. They should have went for the field goal. That is kind of a, a bonehead call right there. That's crazy. Shotgun set for the Kidets. Looking to expand on their 10-point lead. And Hops will throw it. Goes off his back foot, incomplete, dangerous throw and triple coverage. Both quarterbacks struggling just a little bit here tonight. Only five yards passing for Hops on two completions. Hops absolutely destroyed his numbers from last season as far as touchdowns and picks. He had 18 touchdowns last season with 17 picks. He's got 28 touchdowns, seven interceptions this season. A great turnaround, and here is another clipping call in this game. I believe that's the second one already. Brings up second down and 18 now for VMI. We're up to 17 viewers now on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Hops dropping back to throw it, and that is incomplete. The intended for Jake Barry. I'm not sure if the defender got a hand on it or not, but that'll bring up third down and 18 now from their own 12-yard line. Both teams struggling on third down. VMI 0 for 3. JU is 1 of 4. And here's Hops. Hit as he throws just about, and that pass is dropped by Joseph Martin, who has had a really rough season catching footballs. Only uh, 16 receptions. He actually has zero drops coming into the game. 
So that's his first drop of the season, but he only has 16 catches. He's not a big target for Justin Hobbs. So it looks like JU's going to get the football in pretty decent field position. Here is Mr. Highlight on for the return. He's got eight part returns for touchdowns on the season, but not even close on this one. He's dropped almost instantly at his own 43-yard line. Hines in the shotgun. Fullback and a halfback back there with him. They will throw it. Hines, deep shot, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Incomplete, throws it out of bounds. Too far for Mr. Highlight. Oh, what a hit on the quarterback. Oh, my goodness. Not sure if that actually affected the throw or not. That brings up second down and 10 now. I'd like to see Hines get out, you know, roll out of the pocket and make some defenders miss with his legs. He's a great runner. Now the shotgun, he'll try to throw it again. Quick pass, deflected and picked off again this time. It's Trey Upton, the middle linebacker. Oh my goodness. Trey Upton with his sixth interception on the season. Say the word, Marvin, and I will put in Nolan Connor. For the remainder of this ball game for you. Oh my goodness. Threw that into double coverage. Not a good throw. Now VMI back in great field position at Jacksonville's 28-yard line. High formation set for hops. Watch out for the option out of this formation. And they'll actually go with a toss play. The Darius Johnson following a lot of blockers inside the 15-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Great run for the freshman. He leads the team in rushing with 1,040 on the year now. I got you, Marvin. Single back set now. Two tight ends to the right side. And they will go option. Hops is going to walk in for his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. That was way too easy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jacksonville continuing to struggle in big games. They can win the SEC, but it's it's been a rough go of it trying to beat these other subscriber schools. Still plenty of time left in the ball game, though. Two and a half quarters remains. Extra point is up and good. It's 17 to nothing here in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the Sugar Bowl. 12 and one, Keith Detts on top of the 11 and two Dolphins of JU. Jacksonville's offense just can't get out of their own way right now. I'm not sure about any of the play calling. It's just been kind of a bizarre game so far for them. Especially when they punted it when they were in field goal range. I'm not too sure about all that. The Demon, 166 in the chat. What did you miss? Uh, three interceptions from Michael Hines. One of them a pick six. A field goal for VMI and a touchdown run just now by Justin Hops. That's what you missed. Not a good return. Just to the 13-yard line. For Jacksonville. Hines still in there, quarterback. And he'll go play action. Pressure, throws it. Nice catch. Jermaine Marshall over the middle. Great first play of the drive to get things moving. That was a 15 yard pickup for Jermaine. Closing in on 700 receiving yards for the season. Down to 10 now. Hines, quick pass, and Christian Hart never even saw the ball. That pass was thrown very quickly. And another awkward play here for the Dolphin offense. Looking forward to the national championship game on your birthday tomorrow? That should be a good one, man. I can't wait for that. 
This looks like the same formation. They're going to go option. Jukes McGee has the pitch, and he is taken down very quickly around the 31-yard line. Brings up third down and eight now for JU. They just need, they need a big play downfield. That's really what they need. Too many short passes have been deflected and picked off so far. Hines pressured immediately. He's going to take off. Does he have the speed for the first down? Yes, he does. They need more of that. Absolutely. Up to the 41-yard line. Hines picks it up with his feet. Shotgun set for the Dolphins. Highlight in the backfield. They're going to go option. Hines takes off and gets it inside the 45-yard line of VMI. This is a great drive from Michael Hines so far. And he needs just nine more rushing yards tonight to reach 2,000 yards rushing for his career. I'm going to come out in the I formation now. Fullback dive. Tyler Matthews stopped at the line of scrimmage. Just picked up maybe a yard on the play. He had 10 touchdowns rushing last season. Only two this year. But around the same amount of yards. Same formation for the Dolphins. Second and nine. Less than a minute and a half left in the half. And they're going to go play action. Hines, right side, caught. And no, they said he was out of bounds. Jermaine Marshall, the intended target. Brings up third down and nine. Three. Dolphins two of five on third downs tonight. And this is a big one. They desperately need some points on the board before the half. Finds the throw. He's going to take off instead. And tries to juke a man out. He's close to the sticks. Fourth and one, they're going to call it. So close. Crowd wants him to go for it. Let's see what head coach Marvin Joseph does here. They're on the 33-yard line again. They're in field goal range, and it looks like they're going to punt the football away again. Unbelievable. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Oh, they're going to fake it. Oh, my goodness. Did they just get that? They did. Dalton Hayes with his first career pass attempt. And the Dolphins move the chains with a punter throwing a pass. Unbelievable. Wow. Was not expecting that. Hines under center now on first and ten. Hines over the middle. Jermaine Marshall first down inside the 20-yard line down to the 18. Oh, my goodness. What a drive this is. This is crazy. Hines under center again. No huddle. He'll throw it. Pressured. Hit his, as he throws. Caught by Highlight. Breaks the tackle. And Mr. Highlight has the touchdown record. 28 receiving touchdowns in a season. He got it. And Jacksonville is on the board. 17-6. What a play by the Heisman Memorial Trophy winner. Bryson Shields just fell right on his face. My goodness. What a drive from Michael Hines. On the verge of being benched, he leads his team down the field for a touchdown to get his team back in the ballgame. Extra point is good from Quasi Sands. It's 17 to seven. That was an 11 play, 87 yard drive, 220 off the clock. What a fantastic way for Mr. Highlight to break that record. Just a fantastic catch and run. Dalton Hayes on for the kickoff. 
He's got 29 touchbacks this season. Make it 30. Let's see what VMI and Justin Hops and this offense can do with 30 seconds left on the clock. And they're going to come out in the shotgun here with both of their halfbacks next to Hops. Hop's going to go with the option. Pitches it out. Darius Johnson in the open field. He gets wrecked by Malik Bean at the 34-yard line. But a nice pickup of 14 by the freshman. This is turning into a pretty good game now. If Michael Hines can hold on to the football, this second half could get really interesting. Hops to throw. Throws it deep downfield. Wants it all, and he got it! Jason Wright for the touchdown! Unbelievable call by the head coach of the year, Ron Dave Barber. Jason Wright with his seventh touchdown catch of the season. Hops with 29 touchdown passes this year. What a beauty! That was a rainbow. My word. Wow. Extra point is up and good for VMI. It took 13 seconds for them to just go 80 yards. Sixty-six yard touchdown pass to Jason Wright. Gets him over 500 receiving yards for the season. And what can JU do with 17 seconds left? Was that Elway? <laughs> Looked like it, didn't it? Mid-90s Elway. Just chucking it deep. Praying. And that kick is going to go through the back of the end zone. Seventeen point ball game. Hines in the shotgun. McGee to his left. And they're gonna keep it on the ground here. Jukes McGee gets a couple yards, and that's probably gonna be the final play of the first half with number five VMI on top of the number eight Jacksonville Dolphins 24 to seven here in the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana. Unbelievable. And Jacksonville does get the ball to start the half. Marvin, let me know if you still want Hines in there, buddy. That's set to kick it off. Unbelievable first half that was. A lot of crazy plays going on. Uh, VMI's defense has been the biggest difference so far in the ball game. And here is Deshaun Harris on the return. And breaks a couple tackles up past the 25 to the 28-yard line. We will see the Dolphin offense. One more mess up in Bencham. I got you, Marvin. Pretty even in yards, 161 to 162, but the three turnovers by Michael Hines has definitely been the biggest, biggest difference tonight. And he'll try to throw it here. Hines deep shot himself, overthrows Jermaine Marshall, but there's pass interference. And they catch a little bit of a break here. That is Thompson, the man that had the pick six earlier in the ball game. That gets him the ball to the 44-yard line now. Hines hands it off. McGee gets the edge. 
And Jukes McGee gets it up to the 40-yard line of VMI. That's their 11th first down tonight. And really the first time we've seen Jukes McGee run the football. He's got a couple catches for over 40 yards. But only one or two carries on the day. Come on the shotgun. Option for Hines. And tries to juke man out. Picks up maybe five yards on the carry. And he actually gets credit for six yards. Bringing up second down and four. From the VMI 35-yard line. Henry Hamilton in the zone for the VMI Cadets defensive line. And there's going to be a false start on the offense. False start on the offense. Guard got a little too excited there after the six-yard carry from Hines. Hamilton still in the zone for VMI. Hines out of the shotgun. High snap. No, it's a direct snap to Christian Hart, the tight end. And he'll pick up a few yards. I'm not sure why they keep giving him the football on the ground. But that's going to bring up third down and seven now for JU. Some very bizarre play calls so far for the Dolphins. Same formation. And Henry Hamilton tries to get a head start. Give him five yards. Now, they're on the 33-yard line. They've punted it twice from this area. Well, actually, they punted once. And then they, they faked one. Or did they punt it twice? I can't remember. But now they're going to be out in the goal line set. Handed off. Tyler Matthews tries to get to the outside. He's got the first down of the 30. Nice run by the fullback, Tyler Matthews. To move the chains for J.U. And Hines tries the option, and that play was blown up by Gunn. Non-subscriber linebacker. He blew that one up big time. Loss of one for Hines. Christian Hart, the tight end, is in the zone. Playing some pullback right now. And they'll go option. Hines pitches it. Jukes McGee to the edge. And Adams brings him down. That was a nice carry. Brings up third and one from the 21-yard line. Jacksonville, three of seven on third down tonight. VMI still has not converted a third down. Hart in the zone again for the Dolphins. And they'll go play action. Hines going to take off first down for the Dolphins. And a face mask at the end of the run. Hines showing a lot of heart. That was Bryson Shields on the face mask. But Hines showing a lot of heart. Trying to come back from those three interceptions that he's thrown tonight. Dolphins 96% in the red zone this season. Just two misses. Highlight of the backfield. They'll go option. Hines fumbles the football. And it is recovered by Jermaine Marshall. He advances it inside the five-yard line down to the two. That could have been huge. And that would have been Hines' final nail in his coffin for the night. Oh, my goodness. Goal line set. Highlight is at tight end. He's on fire. And Hines tries to punch it in himself. And he is stopped at the one-yard line. Third and goal for the Dolphins. Will we see a goal line stand here from VMI? Or will Jackson will close the gap? Henry Hamilton is in the zone again. Jukes McGee up the middle. Breaks the tackle for the touchdown. McGee with 15 rushing touchdowns on the season. He only had seven last year. And they will close the gap here with an extra point. It'll be a 10-point ball game again. Quasi Sands on for the extra point. It's up and it is good. 24-14 after a 10-play 65-yard drive. 
took three minutes and 12 seconds off the clock. Now the defense has to step it up. I think they've got one sack on the quarterback and they haven't got any pressure since that one play. Dalton Hayes on for the kickoff. 30 touchbacks on the season. And make it 31 as Bryson Shields kneels it down in the end zone. Hops under center. This is the I formation for VMI. And they will hand it off up the middle and Walters brings Ladarius Johnson down after a couple yards. VMI just 71 yards passing tonight and 66 of it was on a touchdown pass. Shotgun set for Hops. He'll go option and a lot of space in front of him. Justin Hops up past his own 40 yard line and he is injured on the play. This could be huge for Jacksonville to get back into this game. BMI, one of the few teams that does not have a subscriber backup quarterback. So not subscriber quarterback, Paul Wallace will take the field for the number five BMI Cadets. First and 10, they'll go option. And Wallace is dropped the line of scrimmage by Walters. Second down and 10 now. Still waiting for them to get some pressure on the quarterback. They're not really getting a whole lot of push by the defensive line. Second and 10. They're going 44. And they'll hand it off. And there's the pressure. Devin Rambo, the freshman All-American. First team All-SEC with a tackle for a loss of four on the play. Justin Hops is done for the night for VMI. He finishes the season with 29 touchdown passes. And Wallace is going to be sacked. They got him. And it's Ryan Richardson, the freshman right end, who was added at week 10 to second sack of the season. That is a huge play for the Dolphins' defense. And they will get the ball back in the hands of Michael Hines, who's had a couple really nice drives. the punt to Mr. Highlight looking for his ninth return for a touchdown but he's going to fair catch this at his own 16 yard line. Let's see if Michael Hines can lead a 17 point comeback here tonight and lead his team to a Sugar Bowl championship. Come out in the shotgun. McGee to his left. We'll throw it off his back foot and overthrows Jermaine Marshall on an out route. Shotgun set again. This time their fullback's back there, Tyler Matthews. And they're going to go with an option. Hines pitches it out. McGee has the speed for the first down. Henry Hamilton drags him down. But McGee with a pretty good game. Six carries, 7.1 yards per carry. And a couple nice big catches for him as well. Right. 44 plays of offense for Jacksonville tonight. 220 yards. Right. Same formation, but Tyler Matthews is not in at fullback. It's Christian Hart, and they give it off to the tight end again. And he'll pick up a couple yards. That's his third carry of the night. Final 
play of the third quarter. They give it off to the tight end again, but he breaks the tackle. Christian Hart with an exciting one-yard carry. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. VMI on top, 24-14 over the Jacksonville Dolphins here in New Orleans, Louisiana in the Sugar Bowl. Third down and seven, huge play. Hart in the zone, and Hines is gonna try to take off and he is sacked. Oh my goodness, not a good decision from Hines. I'm not even sure if he's tried to look downfield to see if anybody was open. And they're gonna have to punt the football away. There's still plenty of time left though. Hayes out for the punt. Long of 57 on the year. This looks to be a good one right here. And to the 19-yard line. Nice tackle on Bryson Shields at the 25-yard line. Paul Wallace looking to lead the Cadets here in the fourth quarter. He will go option, and he fumbles the football, and it is recovered somehow by VMI. Oh my goodness, a loss of seven. I don't know how they got the football back. But that would have been game-changing if Jacksonville was able to fall on it. All the way back at their own 18-yard line now. Wallace in the shotgun with no running backs. Will they trust him to throw it? He will take off instead, and he's dragged down by Ogletree. Non-subscriber defensive tackle brings him down for the sack. Third down and 18 now. And we're up to 19 viewers in the stream. Welcome, everybody. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Slap a like on the video. Join our Discord community today if you want to get a player in this series. Here's a pass from Wallace over the middle to right at the 25-yard line. Well short of the sticks. And Jacksonville will get the football back again. Mr. Highlight back to return it. Heisman Trophy winner gets it at his own 22-yard line. Up the left sideline, Mr. Highlight might take it all the way. Mr. Highlight is gone, his ninth punt return for a touchdown on the season. And Jacksonville is within a field goal after this extra point. Mr. Highlight showing why he's the Heisman winner. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable player. That's his 13th punt return for a score in his career. He's also got three kick returns for touchdowns in his career. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. I about jumped out of my seat on that return. Man. Highlight's back must hurt. <laughs> Dalton Hayes. On for the kickoff. It's a three-point ball game here in the Sugar Bowl. Hayes' kickoff will be returned from the goal line. Joseph Martin on the return up to the 23-yard line. And this VMI offense is not even close to being the same without Justin Hobbs back there leading the charge. See what they can do here with Paul Wallace in that quarterback for his third drive of the night. Come out in the I formation. Wallace hands it off. Matt Keller is dropped by Parker Palmer. Just two yards up the middle for the fullback. And they're just trying to get something going in their direction. And it's been pretty rough with Wallace in that quarterback tonight. That injury to Hops could very well cost the Cadets this ball game. 
Wallace to throw over the middle. Incomplete. Rambo on the coverage. Sanders the intended target. BMI 0 for 6 on third downs. Their defense has kept them in the game this long. Their offense hasn't really been much of a help to them. Wallace, five wide receiver set. Quick pass caught by Jay Balmer, taken down by the face mask. Oh no. First down, no, it's third and short. Allen Davidson brought him down by the helmet. So the defense could still get a stop here. They're 0 for 7 on third downs. Now they actually counted that. Jake Berry in the zone at tight end. Ball is under center. Try to hand it off here to Johnson. He falls forward and gets enough to move the sticks. Huge run by the freshman. Can they keep it going? They needed a penalty to keep their drive afloat. Barry on fire again. Same formation for the cadets. Wallace running off as much clock as he can. And they're gonna go Keller up the middle, gets a couple yards for the fullback. Second and eight from their own 36 yard line now. High formation set, Johnson in at halfback behind Matt Keller. And Jake Barry at tight end. The John Mackey Award winning tight end. Wallace will hand it off. And that is going to be a two yard carry. Parker Palmer, five star defensive end, meets the five star halfback, Ladarius Johnson. Brings up third down and six. They are one of eight now on the game. And we are up to 20 viewers on the stream. Appreciate every single one of you for stopping by tonight. Shotgun set for Wallace. Huge play with the clock ticking down. Wallace, option, he is dropped. And that's Lawson, the wide receiver that converted to corner in the offseason. Jacksonville has a shot, folks. Two timeouts left. They will get the ball back. Highlight, back to return it again. Will they kick it to him? And it looks like he's gonna have it here. Can he break the tackle? No, he can't, he's dropped at the 22 yard line. It's all up to Michael Hines and his arm. Minute 26, two timeouts left. You gotta get to around the 30 yard line for the game to actually allow them to kick a field goal. Or they could score a touchdown and walk out of here with a win. And there is a good start for their drive. Henry Hamilton trying to get a head start again. Goes off sides. First down and five now at their own 27. That helps them out quite a bit. Come out with Hines under center. And he will throw it. Hines, right side, almost throws the pick to Phillips. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was not a good throw. Brings up second down and five. Took four seconds off the clock. Highlight player of the game for Jacksonville. No surprise. Thompson, player of the game for VMI with that pick six and another interception for the game. Shotgun set, Hines gonna try to take off, and he gets the first down, stopping the clock. Oh no, there's a flag for a holding on Dudley. Man, oh man. Always a lot of drama at the end of these games.
Clock is still ticking now. Second and 15. Up to 21 viewers now on the stream. Shotgun set. Hines to throw. Big pass over the middle. Phillips almost has another one. Oh my goodness. Brings up third and 15. I'm not sure where that pass was even intended for, but that, that was not even close to a Dolphin player. JU 5 of 10 tonight on third down. On their own 17-yard line. Hines throws it, and it is incomplete. Fourth and 15 now for Jacksonville. This is the game right here. Henry Hamilton in the zone for VMI. Hines gonna try to take off and he's sacked. Oh no! That is not how you want the game to end. Unbelievable. Non-subscriber player gets the sack. Wow. They could still stop him, though, and possibly get the ball back with, I don't know, a couple seconds left in the game. And here's Johnson losing some yards. Parker Palmer on the stop. Loss of three. Boy, oh boy. This is not how I expected the game to end here. Christian Hart, or not Christian Hart, Zane Williams in the zone for Jacksonville. Here is Johnson up the middle. Johnson breaks loose and he's gone. That is the dagger. Freshman running back with his 15th touchdown run of the season. And JU is going to fall for the second straight season in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Last year they lost to Cal Poly. This year they're going to lose to the VMI Cadets. Unbelievable. Forty-six seconds left. It's okay, Marvin. It's okay, buddy. And here is Sean Harris on for the return. Dropped at around the 18-yard line. And oh man, Sugar Bowl has been has not been kind <laughs> to Jacksonville. Hines with three interceptions tonight. He also fumbled once but they actually recovered it. And they're going to come out in the I-formation here. Hines is almost picked off again. He is just off the mark tonight. Second and ten. Hart in the zone, as well as Mr. Highlight. And he is going to be sacked by William Reed. And that is Reed's 14th sack of the season. He had nine last season. And then we'll try to throw it again here. And oh my goodness, Jermaine Marshall with a nice catch. They only pick up a few yards. Hines was destroyed as he threw that ball. Hines 
Just throw it off his back foot and a sliding catch for Deshaun Harris. And that is another turnover on downs. BMI just going to kneel it down and walk out of here as Sugar Bowl champions with a 13-1 record. And they improve their subscriber versus subscriber matchup record to 5-3 all-time. Jacksonville falls to 1-3 all-time and 11-3 and on the season. But still a two-game improvement from season number one. And BMI improves by four games from last season. My goodness. Outstanding performance by the Cadet defense. And outstanding performance by Mr. Highlight, Heisman Trophy winner of the Jacksonville Dolphins. That is it, folks. Number five, VMI, your Sugar Bowl champions here in season two of our FCS Dynasty. Waiting for that Gatorade bath. There it is, the head coach of the year, Rondé Barber, gets the Gatorade bath, 13 and one Sugar Bowl champs. Everybody going crazy on the sidelines. Man, oh man, what a game this was. Mr. Highlight broke the all-time touchdown reception record in a season. He got his ninth punt return for a score. But VMI's defense was just too much for the Jacksonville Dolphins to handle. Let's take a look at some stats. VMI, 199 yards. Jacksonville, 221. Michael Hines sacked five times. Hops and Wallace sacked three times combined. And the three interceptions and a fumble from Michael Hines tonight. My goodness. And that's that's definitely that's the difference. Or those three interceptions. Let's not forget Dalton Hayes, one of one for one yard in the first down tonight. <laughs> the freshman punter. Oh, man. One touchdown, three picks for Hines, sacked five times long of 26. McGee only had six carries tonight, had a touchdown. Hines with 36 yards. Four broken tackles for Christian Hart, unreal. Marshall, five catches, 36 yards. Highlight, 239, and a touchdown. Christian Hart with two drops. Insane. All right, Rocky, later, man. Malik Bean, Darren Walters, both had four tackles. Rambo with three. Parker Palmer, Frank Frazier with three. Zane Williams had two. And that's it, folks. Great season for VMI. Great season for Jacksonville, too. Don't let this loss, you know, make you look at your feet as you're walking <laughs> if you're on the Dolphins. So this is definitely a great season. Great turnaround. You add two more wins to your total that you had last year. You know, definitely nothing to hang your head at. 42.6 yard average for Dalton Hayes. Zero inside the 20, one touchback. Harris with a 30-yard kick return. And Mr. Hylett with a 75-yard punt return for a touchdown. To get his team within three points just wasn't enough. But again, that is it for this game. Highlight, McGee and Bean, players of the game for Jacksonville. Thompson, Hops, and Upton, players of the game for the VMI Kedets. 9-0 in conference, 13-1 on the season. We got one game left on the year, folks. The national championship game. There's the Sugar Bowl trophy for VMI. But here's our game for tomorrow. Number three, Savannah State taking on the number one Dayton Flyers in the Fiesta Bowl in Tempe, Arizona for all the marbles. It's the national championship game. I will see you guys with that one tomorrow night. Take it easy, guys.